Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that are going on in the world of Transformers. I let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. So once again, as ever, this is going to be part one of two. I've got well over 25 different things already to show you with what's going on in the world of Transformers. So part one is now, part two is about 10, 12 hours away. And I'm going to kick off with some pin badges. So this is from Fig Pin. They announced two new items for their officially licensed Transformer collection. These are Hot Rod and Galvatron pins. So you can see I've got this information from TFW 2005. There is their Galvatron pin. There he is inside the packaging. Uh, there's the back of it as well. Great, great artwork. Obviously all from the original movie. There, of course, is Hot Rod. Looking very much like Rodimus Prime, to be honest. But yeah, there he is as well in his pin badge. And these are going to be great additions to anybody who indeed does collect pins. Right, moving on. This is so, so cool. So this is a competition that is being organised by Paramount UK. And it's to do with literally whatever. You've got to reply to the tweet either on their page or on this via TFW 2005. Um, and it's literally, it says, this is not a drill. This is not a drill. Whoever leaves the best tweet in this competition, Optimus Prime will read it out for you. So here is the article. There's even, as I say, a little thing there. It says exactly there, literally I've just said, reply with the line you'd like to basically hear from him to say, and they're obviously gonna get Peter Cullen to read your line out, to read your tweet. So if you've got Twitter, you can apply there. Um, I haven't got Twitter, so but you could still go via TFW 2005 if you wanted to, but that is a really, really cool competition. It makes me want to actually even start up a Twitter just to be able to do that. Right, we've had an abundance of potential leaks, potential test pieces this week. This is yet another one, but this one um, is potentially bludgeon. Now, let's be honest, when most of us saw the tarn mould, we all sort of guessed that they were going to redeco, repaint it as bludgeon. Well, that's one of the things that I said straight away. Now, again, this could just be a test piece from the tarn mould from, you know, over a year ago or however, uh, or whatever, but it also could be exactly what they're saying it is because the colour scheme of it obviously does look like a green sort of military tank. Some of the other colours obviously do not match whatsoever. What's just really strange at the moment about all these suspected test pieces or indeed first product shots is that none of them have got their heads. So again, this is all over social media. It's not just on TFW 2005, it's on T-Formers, it's on loads of things. It's not official yet, obviously, but if you want to see it in more detail, head to the websites I've just mentioned. And indeed, you never know, maybe it will end up being Legacy Evolution Bludgeon. We will wait and see. Okay. Moving on, this is this is just funny. At the moment, there's so many competitions, uh, but you know how even companies that, let's be honest, have nothing to do with Transformers, and even the competition that they're offering doesn't really have anything to do with Transformers. This is a perfect example of this. So this is from a UK company called Bosch, and they make, I suppose, power tools is the best way to describe them. And this is their competition. Um, if you spend more than £70 on selected Bosch 18 volt products in a single transaction between the 3rd of April and the 30th of June, you receive a free battery with it. So there's the article, there's the competition, there is the full details of it. I mean, absolutely, as I say, nothing to do with Transformers, nothing to do with Rise of the Beasts, to do with power tools. Now, whether, are, are they alerting to the fact that maybe the Transformers are power tools themselves? I have no idea, but all you've got to do um, is spend £70 and get your free battery. Again, nothing to do with Transformers, no Transformers related prize, just a free battery. <laughs> and it makes me laugh, obviously. Right, more Rise of the Beast things. At least this has got something to do with Rise of the Beasts. So this is via Geek Culture's website. And basically, this is a Rise of the Beasts limited edition pin collection. It looks like it's a coin collection, to be honest, but they are pins. Again, more pins. Um, licensed to only 350 sets in Singapore and 300 sets in Malaysia. And what it is, it's a boxed combo with the logos of the Maximals, the Autobots, the Decepticons. And it's going to be staggered release in June, July and August. Um, and each coin will be given away for a minimum buy in the Transformers Rise of the Beasts toy line. Um, there's some in-hand images here just to show you. I thought initially at first when I saw these, yeah, it would be the Australian Mint, uh, but and I thought they were coins, but no, they are pin badges um, in a nice presentation box. And as you can see there, we've got the corresponding and the logos I said I just mentioned there, the Predacons, Terracons, 
Autobots, Decepticons, Maximals, etc. There they all are, pin badges. And if you want to see them in more detail without this horrendous glare, and now much to everybody who's probably going to start laughing, they can see that this is in fact not an office. This is a changing room at work. And I've been saying this for ages, but anyway, let's go back to the news. There's the Autobot logo. Here's the rest of the logos. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. And again, this just proves that no matter where I am, I'll do my best to get the news and information out to you. There's gonna be loads of comments on that, but I, I'm not bothered, obviously. This is something that I feel is, I don't know why they're doing this. I mean, am I completely wrong? I know that obviously lots of viewers of this channel are a lot older, but um, are you parents? Are you watching EarthSpark? At the moment, EarthSpark doesn't seem to be doing very well for whoever I seem to speak to, and that's whether it's lives, whether it's just people in the gym, people on social media or whatever, but they're gonna be doing 73 inch tall cardboard cutouts. Um, from advanced graphics. So these are gonna be legitimately for sale um, from the 10th of May this year for $50. Um, and they're six foot one inches tall, that is huge. So there's a whole collection of them. So there's Optimus Prime, and there you can see with him standing next to a child, just how much bigger it is. Here's the dimensions of the standee. So there you go, it's saying how tall it is. Is that one saying 73? Yeah, 73 inches tall. And they've got loads of them. There's Twitch, obviously. There you go, slightly smaller. Then we've got, again, compared to real or life-sized humans, shall we say. Um, there's the pretty much the main characters all here. And these, of course, are giving you an idea of just how big these are. I mean, answer this in the comments, guys. Is any of you going to literally spend $50 on a six-foot-one Megatron cardboard cutout? For your kids, if your kids are interested in Earthspark, I'd be interested to know because I, I don't see... I suppose with loads of things, to be honest, maybe my, even my kids haven't got that much interest in Earthspark, but this just seems one of them, um, I don't know, maybe I'm being too harsh on it, I don't really know. Let me know in the comments what you think, but I just wanted to share it with you. Okay, BotCon 23 as a confirmed guest. So of course, BotCon is back. Last year seemed to go very, very well. Special guest, Scott McNeil. And obviously it says here, I'm just gonna read it out. If you watch cartoons, anime, or play video games in the past 30 years, you'll have heard of Scott McNeil. For Transformers fans there, you'll recognize him most for the voices he provided in Beast Wars series, Rat Trap, Silver Bolt, Dinobot, and Waspinator. So he will be a confirmed guest at BotCon. Right. I've been on the third party websites and Facebook pages and what we've got here is exactly what it says there. MB26, work in progress and this is first prototype for study instruction proportion with no details. So this is of course the mini cons that come with these figures. Test shots, there's just the two images. There's this one here and there's this one here and as once again if I get any more information, better images of these, I will bring them straight to you. So I just wanted to share that. Uh, sticking with third party, this was actually on the Dr. Wu Weibo page. This is Mech Toys take on Sandstorm. This is looking really interesting. There's just two images of in there. Very much looking like the G1 adaptation. Um, only these two modes um, on the photos at the moment, but this is looking really good. Can't wait again to see more details and information on this particular figure. Sticking with third part, in fact, no, we're not. We've gone back because this just dropped before I did this video. This is a behind the scenes and the, and of course, Titan Nemesis. So this is obviously we've had the full reveal and everything. So this is from Sam Locke and he's given his behind the scenes detail into this. I'm not going to read it all out to you because again, there's huge amounts on this. They've really gone um, in a lot of detail display, ex explaining and describing all the work that went behind it. I'm going to show you the main images from here because I think the images are really good. Um, and again, I want to know people's opinions on it because um, I know a lot of people, I think for UK, um, and this isn't me moaning, it's just with this the way it's always been. As I say, for us, it's £220, which is about $275. And I haven't seen it anywhere advertised in any of your UK, sorry, US online stores for more than $200. So it just proves, um, I suppose, why a lot of people in the UK are a bit unhappy, to be honest. Anyway, there's a video if you want to watch it, if it's spinning around, there's an absolute abundance of behind the scenes talk. So this can either be read on TFW 2005 or Tformers if you don't have his Instagram, um, you can read that. But here are some of the best images. So again, apologies for the glare. We've got uh, the reflection rather. We've got some images there. Then we've got the behind the scenes stuff. So we've got the computer aided designs. We've got their small ideas. You can see the ones that they chose as in the head sculpt, the actual main body. You can then see, and again, it says here that he's collaborated with um, 
other people, which again is what they seem to do. There's the block drawing, there's the detail drawing. Um, there indeed is the digital deco of him, her, sorry, I don't know why I said that. I was gonna say of it, but that doesn't sound right, of her. And then we've got um, the Nemesis ship right there. And then what I think is really interesting about this, we've got some comparisons next to the arc. So you can see she's quite a bit taller in robot mode, mainly just because of the spines, but in the alternate mode, she's huge compared to him, absolutely huge in all aspects. There's some side profiles, you can see she's a good few inches taller. Um, and yeah, looking, looking really good to be honest, as I say, if the price point wasn't such a bad thing, um, I'd perhaps be a little bit more excited, but I do think she looks great. Somebody left a comment as well saying that they would think that they might put theirs on display in a fish tank. Amazing idea. Um, I think if you can get away with that and it not rusting everything up, I think that would be absolutely spectacular as well. Right, that's it for this part. Um, I just want to remind you all again, of course, that I'm a reviewer for Show Z, so any support on there is massively appreciated. Use my supporter reviewer code, Toys R Us, all one word, in the supporter reviewer barcode, um, box rather, and there's all these figures and more available for pre order already. So I've just took a few snapshots, but if you head to pre orders, there's, I don't know, 200 plus figures there, including, of course, the new constructor cons, which are going to be made by Vectron Labs, and I can't wait to get more information on them as well. So that concludes part one of the news. Um, and as I said, I'll be back with you in about 10, 12 hours, which is the morning for myself, but that gives an opportunity for anything to drop overnight for me to let you know. Huge thank you again to everybody on here for all the support, channel members, etc. New Age, Michael. I was going to say David, but that's Optimus Prime. New Age Michael is well under the way. Hopefully I'll get that done for Friday's review. Um, I've picked up a Beast Wars retro figure for like literally just a couple of quid. Um, so I'm hopefully going to do that over the weekend. And again, whatever else I can catch up with on the newer figures. Um, Trailbreaker, I think is spectacular. I might even do a retrospective on that because I was so impressed with how all the wheels and everything tucked away. With regards to Instagram, I'm just as requested going through some of my boxed uh, figures at the moment just to showcase them but again if you want to contact me on there on here I'm up for doing reviews showcases whatever you want so I'm um, again love doing this channel thank you ever so much for all the support even with me sitting at work like this doing the news for you in a changing room once again guys thank you ever so much for the support I'll see you in a few hours take care